Show her some love. Show her some love. She had to be up here in our cold ass winter. Show her some goddamn love. Good night or good evening. Hello. Am I well Trini? Yeah. <laughs> so what? <laughs> People have this idea that Jamaicans are the most violent. <laughs> that may be true, but Trini does stink before we kill people. <laughs> you see, Jamaicans just kill you and then wonder where the fuck to do with the body. <laughs> what to do with it? We kill any and know just where we put in you. <laughs> However, that's not what I wanted to start with. It's just as I come on and he said, you know, I get the little Trini vibe. You know, Trini. Don't make me light up that corner. <laughs> however, however, hello, yuck yucks. <laughs> I have tried, I have tried, I have been in this business for a lot of years. When I started out, I was a virgin. You see, that is what is got me vexed. That is what's pissed me off. Every woman that start off being a virgin, eh? Unless you're fucking as a fetus. Every woman that's be a virgin the first time. As I say, I've been in this business a while. Three years. Oh gosh, before I was a full-time prostitute. I was very good at it. And I still haven't gotten an MC to put me on properly. Like, it, they don't put me on right. I, it upsets me. It throws the entire routine that I have in my head right off. For those of you that do not know, <laughs> I am Trinidad and Tobago's first and foremost sex symbol. You see plenty men out there, look at their faces. They're like, yeah, she really a comedian. <laughs> yeah, boy. But what people do not realize is that a fat woman is an asset. Plenty of people don't realize it, you know. Hello, when you're fat, it is a complete sign of abundance. <laughs> this means I am eating very, very well. I am eating fatty foods. They say no fried chicken that, you know, Popeyes, Wendy's chicken tenders. No, this is full fresh fucking steak. <laughs> Mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Sauce. <laughs> the fella dip. I ain't too sure if to pick on you, you know. I don't know exactly what it is. White, <laughs> Hispanic, <laughs> Chinese. Your mother was active, boy. <laughs> now, you see, you have plenty of white people going to say, she talked about his mother. Talking about your mother ain't no big insult, you know. Half the time somebody trying to fuck you up, they, they call your mother. It's only because we're sorry for your parents. <laughs> because I do not understand Canadian men. I am sorry. My body was the UN at a certain point. I have had every nation in it. <laughs> but, say yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. <laughs> but you see Canadian men, boy, oh good boy. They are different breed. <laughs> and I'm talking about born and bred Canadian men. I have had the unfortunate incident where I have had to deal with a jackass <laughs> for the last three months. Now, this man is born of Jamaican parents. Nah, he's not Ken. <laughs> Kenny is a dumpling. A round of applause for Kenny. Kenny is a love boy. But you see, I and Kenny wouldn't be able to fuck it. <laughs> His belly big, my belly big. That's mission impossible. 
It ain't happening. Both of we gonna be sweating. I gonna be asking him, you come here at. But Kenny is a dumpling. However, no, no, let me finish my story about this particular Canadian man. So this Canadian man, two parents is, are from Jamaica. Are trying to be as clear as possible because um, this little white guy in the back tell me, I didn't understand you. So for those of you that don't understand me, I'm sorry. I try and. So his parents from Jamaica, but they born, they carry him England, and he was born in England, but he living in Canada. A black man, eh? <laughs> now plenty of people don't understand that black only means skin. It's like an orange. Peel it off, and baby is a whole different taste inside. <laughs> Cause I have met some white black people. Nigga is a state of mind. So this imbecile. Come to the studio the other day and said, Hey man, gosh, did you go to see the queen? So I watch him, I say, Queen? Which queen? <laughs> queen Elizabeth. Man, she just keeps getting younger and younger every year. <laughs> so I couldn't believe my ears. So I moved the weave. Hello. This is 2,000 US worth of straight hair. I tell you, fat people have money, honey. So I moved the weave over my ear so I could hear better. I said, Queen Elizabeth, why would I leave my bed? Now, only in DSD, wait, is daylight saving time, DST. In Trinidad or the Caribbean, where I am from, at 6 o'clock in the morning, there is light. You could count on the sunrise. At 8 o'clock in the morning in Canada, when I look outside, it is dark. And I go back to my fucking bed. <laughs> so I say, why would I get up and go in the cold to watch Elizabeth? Nobody don't help me wash my ass. What I doing? She has people to help her floss her bottom. What the hell are you doing in the cold breeze to wave at Elizabeth? Something wrong with me? I say, but wait. I tell him, I say, wave at Elizabeth. He say, yeah, man, it's phenomenal. So he say, but aren't you from, aren't you from the colonies? I didn't have one on one, the brass, but I had to prop the breast. <laughs> I say, I say, colonies, the last person that called the Caribbean the colonies was Henry VIII. <laughs> he said, I'm a loyal British subject, man. I was born in the UK, as if that is information. <laughs> I say, ain't your parents Jamaican? He watched me, yes. Ain't you black? <laughs> yes. I said, well, if a cat born in an oven, that don't make him a bread. <laughs> we lost. I tell you, it's a losing, losing kind of mentality. You see, plenty of people like to divide us up into races, because it's easier that way. It's easier to divide a group. White, black. And then they split up the whites. Some are Jewish. Let's have another group. Just in case. It have white Jews and it have, okay, well, white people. Huh? Here, yeah, this girl say Catholic. Darling, it have black Catholics. <laughs> and then we have, oh gosh, hush, hush. <laughs> Don't take them on, girl. Then we have black people, and they like to split up black people. Some are urban. I have no idea what urban means. You know, I could understand that, you know, when people moved out after the war, out of the city, 